of the people. He appointed singers unto the Lord. Yeah. That they should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army. Are you listening to that? And to say, praise the Lord for His mercy endureth forever. Maybe that's what old Paul and Silas were singing there at midnight in the Philippi jail. Praise the Lord for His mercy endureth forever. Praise the Lord for His mercy endureth forever. Praise the Lord for His... Oh, that's the thing the enemy don't expect to hear. That ain't what the enemy expected to hear from the people of Jehoshaphat as they came along either. Amen. They knew they were outnumbered. They knew they were outmanned. They knew they were out military. Yet here comes these people with sailors in front of them saying, praise the Lord for His mercy endureth forever. Praise the Lord. For, when you get in your valley and you're in your place where God, you, you, you're being put through the trial and the fire and your faith is being put to the test, find you a place and say, great is the Lord. Greatly to be praised. Amen. His mercy endures forever. He is Amen. with me. He is with me. That's right. So He sends the singers out first. You see, they found them a song in the valley. Amen. Oh, I hope you're getting this this morning. Amen. His mercy endures forever. And when they began to sing and to praise the Lord. Now does that sound familiar? Yeah. We just read over there in the book of Acts that when Paul and Silas began to sing praises to God, something happened. Yeah. They were right there in their valley experience. Mm -hmm. Jehoshaphat sang as go forth in the Bible says, when they began to sing and to praise the Lord. Yeah. It says, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon and Moab and Seir in Mount Seir. All right. Which were come against Judah. And they were smitten. Listen to this. And the children of Ammon, and are you seeing a pattern here? When they begin to sing in this valley, oh my goodness, the enemy. The Bible says turned on one another. Right. When you begin to sing in your valley, yeah. The devils are tripling themselves trying to get away. All right. Amen. Says he sent ambushments. Listen what happens when they get there to where the battle was supposed to be fought. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. And when Judah came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude. And behold, they were dead bodies fallen to the earth and none escaped. Did you hear that? None of them escaped. Amen. Here they are marching into this valley for the battle of their life. Yeah. And they're singing praises to God. Yeah. Realizing that the battle is not theirs. The valley might be. Come on. But the battle is not yours. Right. The battle's not mine. The battle's not mine. Lord, it's yours. All right. It's yours. I'm not going to try to fight it. That's a waste of my time and my energy. And that's exactly what the enemy wants. I'm going to leave it up to you. Amen. I'm going to sing praises to you. I'm going to find a song in my valley. Amen. And I'm going to sing. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And the enemy was defeated. When Paul and Silas began to sing at midnight, something happened. When you begin to sing, Joel 3 and 2 where I was telling you about. He talks about the valley of Jehoshaphat. Now some scholars believe this was the same valley Joel was talking about. Some believe it was just a figurative thing that he was using. Either way, the valley was called the valley of Jehoshaphat. It was his valley, but the battle was God's. Whatever you're going through today, yeah, it's your trial. It's your fight as far as it's your battle you're facing. But the battle is not yours. You don't have to fight it. You just have to find a song and begin to praise God. Begin to exalt Him. Amen. And I'm not telling you that everything will go away and everything will be roses, but I'm telling you, you will come out on the other side stronger than you were when you went in. And your faith will not fail. Your faith will not fail. Amen. When you find a song in your valley. Praise the Lord. And finding a song in your valley may be the difference on whether your faith survives the valley All experience right. that you go through. Come on. One more thing. I'm closing. I don't know how long I've been preaching. Probably about 15 minutes. <clears throat> it was Easter morning, 1799. And the people of Fieldrick, Australia, Austria, I'm sorry, were terrified. They believed that this Easter would likely be the very worst day of their lives. Outside the gates of the city stood the army of Napoleon. And he wanted in. The citizens were ready to raise the white flag of surrender. But the bishop of the church there had another idea. 
a voice trembling with emotion, he said to the townspeople, This is Easter Day. This is the day of our King's resurrection. We must have a moment of triumph. Let us at least ring the bells as we do every Easter. Fearfully, the people agreed. Soon the sound of the church bells begins sounding all through the air and out across the hillsides and through the valley. Praise a sound of celebration, of victory filled the air. All right. And Napoleon's army was astounded when they heard this. They began to ask themselves, what could this mean? Yeah. And it didn't take long for the generals to conclude that the only possible reason that these people could be celebrating or ringing the bells of freedom is because the great Austrian army must have arrived during the night to help defend their town. Yeah. The bells had not stopped ringing when the French army broke ranks and began to flee. Oh, hallelujah! Did you hear that this morning? Oh, hallelujah! I hear the bells ringing. I hear a song saying, let's get out of here. Amen! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! When you find your song in your valley, hallelujah, the enemy flees because he don't like it, he don't understand it, and victory must be on the way. Oh, hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Oh, that's there put meat on your bones. Thank you, Jesus. Let's get out of here. They must have some help. That's <laughs> yeah. what the enemy thought when he heard Paul and Silas. Let's get out of here. Amen. He must have, must have some help. Yeah. Help must arrive, and we didn't know it. Amen. Oh, hang on, saints. Help is on the way. Amen. Amen. Help has arrived. He's, the Bible says He is our help, and He is our present help. Yeah. In time of trouble. I could run this morning. Hallelujah. Find it in your song yeah. in your valley. Hallelujah. Ring the bells of freedom. Yes, sir. You are not bound today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Someone else have something this morning.